to cut down your size. And lastly, your wings. You know what they're for. But not just to fly, son. I want you to soar. But, sir? Said the snoodle. How can I fly? This picture's so big, I won't get very high. But this picture's special. It's bigger, it's brighter. Carry it close, and I think you'll feel lighter. As soon as he heard it, the snoodle looked down and noticed that he was an inch off the ground. He laughed and he leaped and he flew from the cave, feeling now older and stronger and brave. And he flew through the clouds and he flew with the finches. He soared up and down around the peak of Mount Ginches. He flew over barley bushes in yellow and thin bundle plants squirting snowberry jello. He flew over pickle bag trees and their fruits in big lazy loops for the land of Galoots. And hurried back home to the center of town, where the snoodles all stood with their wings on the ground. And starting precisely at quarter past two, he told them the story that I just told you. It's the season to 